Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and I'm back with another engineering related video because I saw the response that I got from the previous video and it was better than I thought so I decided to make this a series if you want to call it. Um, so yeah, thank you for the response that I got from the previous video and it's also really good to see how much, how many people are interested, how many people are considering getting into engineering and how many people are in engineering and how many people gave their opinions and their, their experiences and also people who presented questions to me. So just a reminder that I am, I just graduated like a year ago. So I am very fresh into this environment. I'm sharing my experience. So I also have a lot of growing to do and my knowledge is very limited. So I want you guys to take in these videos with keeping that in mind and not put too much pressure on me. In fact, um, pressure on me, sorry. I would really appreciate if the people who do have experience comments down below, give advice to the people that are looking for advice because I see that there are a significant amount, okay, maybe not a significant, but like, you know, fairly good amounts of people who are interested. So yeah, so this video, I'm just going to be updating you guys on my experience in, in the past nine months of me working um, and also just answer some of your questions. These are some questions that I got on as in my DMs on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram at Sunday Swindy. Um, I've also I also decided to put up a, like a Q&A thing on my Instagram story. So some of these questions come from there, and some of these questions come from the comment section of my previous video. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, do the things, and let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I've decided to start by giving you guys an update on my experience in the past nine months of me working. Um, so this is my 10th month of working um, as a process engineer in training. So I am still in training. I'm in a graduate program for you, the people who don't know. I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous video, but I am in a graduate program which is three years long. So. I'm basically an engineer in training for three years. Um, so yeah, so basically the past nine months have been good and bad and emotional <laughs> and a, a steep learning curve for me. So um, where should I start? So by good, I mean like I've learned a lot. I appreciate how much I've learned. Um, some of the things are interesting, some of the things I realized that I don't like a lot as much as I thought. So in, in addition to it being experience of learning about engineering, it's also an experience of me learning about myself and where I want to venture when it comes to engineering. Obviously, I haven't made a decision. I'm far from making a decision. but. It's giving me an idea of what I want and you know all that also just being in this town is giving me an idea of what I want you know so I'm learning a lot in that sense it's good in that sense but it's also bad because imposter syndrome is like a thing <laughs> it's really a thing because for those of y'all who don't know imposter syndrome is Doubting your abilities and feeling like a fraud. Basically, that's it. And I think this has been a thing, and this is a thing for many people. This has been a thing for me throughout my schooling life and also now. Because you are surrounded, especially in a company like mine, most of the people that, a lot of the people that work there are engineers. So you're surrounded by engineers all the time surrounded by people that are very intelligent people that know these stuff <laughs> people that are passionate about engineering and it it put a little pressure on me it put a little doubt in me in myself um so that's it was the up and down you know and but i think i came back you know i recentered myself and i realized this is a learning experience for me so instead of 
focusing on the things that I'm doing wrong or the things that I don't know. I'm focusing on things that I can learn from this experience. And I'm grateful that I have this um, graduate program time to learn and to absorb anything and everything, you know. So, yeah, and also it's about reminding myself that I am capable. Like, I didn't get you. I didn't, like, trip and fall into this um, position, you know. So, it's just about believing myself and recognizing that this is a learning experience, that there's always space to learn, you know. Um, yeah, so, and then I think I'm going to move on to the questions because also the questions help with the updates and yeah, I want to answer you guys' questions. So I'm going to be using my phone because it's in my notes, so when I look down, that's what's happening. So one of the questions that I got and also something that I wanted to share is my day to day, like what I do on a daily basis. So I work in the operations environment, technical support. So my day looks like getting to the office and if I am doing plant monitoring, which I was the first six months, but I'm not so much anymore. Um, if I'm doing plant monitoring, I'll get to the office and I'll check all um, what's happening on the plant. I'll check what I need to check that's that specific thing for my units you know um, or the unit that I'm responsible for not my unit <laughs> you know what I'm saying you know so I'll check what the thing the parameters that I need to check like if the temperature is where it's supposed to be if the pressure is where it's supposed to be if there's something wrong why is it wrong and I have a meeting with the people that are on the plants so they update me and I speak to them about the things that I'm concerned about and something that we should change and they tell me what went wrong or something like that and then I have after that I note that down and I have another meeting with my team and I update them on what I was told or what's happening on my unit you know my section of the plant so and then we have that meeting, everybody updates everybody in the team and then the rest of the day is me working on investigations that I've been given or tasks that I've been given and yeah that's basically the rest of the day and obviously if there was something that was brought up like something was wrong that was brought up in the meeting in the morning maybe I'll investigate that further and all that or I'll just work on an investigation, a longer term investigation that I was already working on. And then um, there's obviously shutdowns on the plant. So if there is a shutdown, I'll also go throughout the day for inspections and whatever they need me to do. Mostly inspections. As a process engineer, you just inspect certain things, right? On your, on your unit or on the equipment, rather. On the equipment that is, shut, is currently shut down. So, um, yeah. That's it. And inspections basically involve taking pictures, checking, um, not just taking pictures because you're taking pictures for the report, inspection report that you're going to write or put together. But it's inspections is checking that everything is the way it's supposed to be. Because shutdowns, they open up the equipment, this is your time to check. If there was something wrong before they shut down, they fix that, you check that it's fixed or whatever. So, that's basically a day in my life. It sounds so simple when I say it, but on some days it's way more hectic than it sounds. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's my daily routine. And yeah. So moving on to the next question. Hi, how much of the university theory content you say you have used thus far? I, I find it very hard to answer this question because I I would say 50-50, like not not 50-50, like all of the university contents that I learned, I, I'm pretty sure is, impor is important and can be used somewhere, but it also depends where you are. So if, um, for example, the unit that I was working on didn't have heat exchanges, so I'm not going to do a lot of heat transfer stuff, you know, or energy, I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Um, so it depends where you are. But I have encountered things that I've learned in university. I'm like, oh, this is helpful. So I honestly think that everything that you learned 
in university is helpful it's a foundation to whatever you're gonna learn because you do learn way more on when you're working so i find this i find it hard to give you a definite answer but i hope what i just said helps in some way um yeah was the pay as good as expected so y'all i got a few questions about the the, the pay y'all like money <laughs> okay no but i, I also would want to know that so so let me read the other question that's similar to this um as a grad graduate process engineer is the starting salary good so i think that is dependent on who you are where you come from what your expenses are what your responsibilities maybe you have a child already maybe you have to support people back home but honestly i'm pretty happy with the starting salary um my camera cut off and i forgot what i was saying in the previous thing so i'm just gonna move on because i feel like i answered the question but move on to the next question um how much do you spend in the on the plant lab and in the office so in the lab zero time this actually is going to help also for the next question but um in the lab zero time like chemical engineers don't spend time in the lab at all unless sometimes like people need to deliver a sample from the plant to the lab but you don't spend time in the lab at all so if you expect to spend time in the lab this is not the job for you or maybe in another um another company another environment another i don't know um yeah let's just say another company you will spend more time in the lab but where i'm working i don't spend any time in the lab on the plant i think it depends on the time like if there's a shutdown i'll spend more time on the plant but also i don't um like i'm not on the plant the whole day so like i said if there's a shutdown we call for inspections i'll go to the plant do inspections go back to the office but i would like to say on a day where there's no shutdown um i probably spend like 80 percent maybe even more maybe even 90 percent in the office and the rest on the plant so it it honestly depends because i know some people in the same company who have offices on the plants you know so that's different i think it's very now that I'm answering these questions, it's hard to give a definite answer because it's different for everyone, for every company, every um, unit, every type of plants, you know. So, yeah, but I think 80 to 90 percent of the time I'm in the office, literally. Um, yeah. Someone said that they love chemistry and they're wondering if they enjoy chemical engineering. So, I think I said this in the previous video that chemical engineering doesn't have a lot of chemistry so like i said you're not going to be in the lab you're not going to be dealing with chemicals like physically you know type of thing um so it's more about the process the manufacturing process so whatever you're manufacturing the process the equipment integrity and the equipment um conditions and stuff like that so it's not chemistry related i'm not saying you won't enjoy chemical engineering but it's not the chemistry that you see in in high school or in university so my suggestion so my suggestion is do not do chemical engineering because you like chemistry i suggest that you do more research if you want to see physically um, what people do as a chemical engineer but I, as i explained i i'm in the office most of the time you do investigations about why isn't the pump working as efficiently as it should be type like that a pump that's that has nothing to do with chemistry you know sometimes you work on a reactor then you you will consider like the reactions that are happening in the reactor but baby baby it's more about actually like i think it's a lot about the, the equipment you know and its integrity and how it operates and how you know that stuff and how and the design and making sure that the equipment that you are using is fulfilling its design intent basically so my advice is do not do chemical engineering 
because you like chemistry. I'm not saying that you won't enjoy chemical engineering because you enjoy chemistry, because there is a little bit of chemistry in chemical engineering. So maybe explore it more, you know, explore the options more, do more research on chemistry versus um, chemical engineering. For example, job shadowing. I remember I did job, sh I job shadowed um, a forensic pathologist in high school. <laughs> And that changed my mind completely because I wanted to be a forensic pathologist in high school and I job shadowed one and I saw a whole lot of dead bodies and it was more traumatizing than I thought. <laughs> I just wanted to add the story time but it was more traumatizing than I thought it would. It, it just wasn't my cup of tea. So if you're not sure whether to do chemistry or chemical engineering maybe consider job shadowing or you know maybe just emailing someone who is in that environment so they can give you more information you know you can email me if you have to just or dm me on instagram at sunday Sudi, like i said like a hundred times so <laughs> yeah but i would suggest you get someone with more experience because i'm also very new because i don't know what a chemist does a chemistry major or whatever <laughs> does on a daily basis but I am assuming I'm assuming that a person who's doing chemistry is more in the lab whereas with the chemical engineer you're on the plant you're working with equipment you're working with how those that equipment operates type of thing so yeah I think those are the questions that I like to co to cover because there were other questions but they're similar to the ones that I've just answered and I think should answer those questions you know what i'm saying <laughs> um but yeah guys thank you so much for watching please leave more questions down below maybe there's there'll be a third video um updating um you guys on my work experience and also maybe answering questions that i didn't answer maybe i'll focus on one thing maybe you guys want me to focus on one thing but i'm so glad that you guys are like responding to my this this type of these type of videos so well because it's great it's great it's great it's great it's great, it's great. <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching please follow me on my instagram and twitter at sunday Sundi, as you will see it here i think and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.